My boyfriend was a, well, ex-boyfriend. <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay. Away in New York for a week. Lost his phone. Forgot to call or get in touch or anything for a week. So, yeah, I expected a really nice dinner and a nice handbag after that. And did you get that? Oh, yeah. That's all we needed to know. Then we broke up. <laughs> I had to fill up like a whole room with flowers and I left little post-it notes like go to the fridge. I'll probably get you a pink diamond. A Cartier ring. Um, I had to buy my mother a car because I broke her other one. Yeah, but now we're broken up so she couldn't have been that happy. Do you want the ring back now? Um, no. And then in the fridge, yeah, you open a can of coke and there's something in the can of coke and you have to go to the safe. A beautiful rose. It was okay. I bought her a diamond watch. An exquisite holiday, actually. I think it was the most expensive thing I ever bought a partner. I took a car and sort of like, um, seized the engine and left it in the garage and they sold it and, you know, as you do. And then you have to bust the combination, but she still left me. <laughs> And I bought a Mercedes. What the fuck? House. Yeah. Oui, je parle français. Oh, yeah. Je suis française. Ah, d'accord. Okay. Yeah. Are we speaking French? Calava. What do you want me to say? And I was really in trouble as well. So, oh, it was it was sixty-seven grand and four days in the Atlantis, in the in the Caribbean. I bought a Mercedes SL fifty-five AMG. <laughs> okay, that was a ten-pound gift voucher for Lidl. Oh, well, that's all right then. That'll Please. do. Little gets good value, man. I know, I know. How many tea bags? A thousand for a pound. It's amazing. Ah, I don't want to go into details, but something happened. I'm doing something wrong. Has he done anything? Uh, no Have you done anything naughty? Basically, I wasn't emotional enough. That was my fault, basically. And it still hasn't changed because it's just not my nature. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Oh, I've been busy. I've got my own career and I'll maybe I neglect her a little bit. It was bad and I, um, I felt bad about it. So I bought a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes to just say how much I love her and how much I really do care. And yeah. What a sweetie! It got me, it got, it got, it got me some credit with her. So. I bet it. The credits run out a long time ago, don't know. He buys me gifts all the time, so maybe he's naughty all the time. I don't know. I don't really know, but... Yeah, I do, I do, I do presents. Probably it's my Rolex that I'm wearing now. I do know a friend of mine who found her boyfriend's other phone with girls' numbers on, girls' messages in, another phone, and to make up, he bought them a house. Oh, I think that's oh gosh, I've always had really lame boyfriends. They never give me any gifts. If I'm lucky, I might get a bunch of flowers, but I think that's only happened once. So. What would you like to get? Some shoes would be nice. She's a shoe retailer now. So what have you got covering your nipples? Like little stickers. They're like, and they're in the shape of flowers. Yeah, special nipple stickers. Oh, Ferragamo, I'm obsessed. He oh, amazing amazing heels, yeah. So maybe some shoes would be a good look. I didn't make love to her that night. <laughs> My mouth will do the job then. Just by speaking. Just by speaking. Yeah. So you talk your way out of it. Yeah, I, th I think I think your you, your way out coming from the heart is always better than any other prison that you can buy to you know to buy somebody. Aww. I think. Gucci for girls all yeah, the way. Baby. <laughs>